Hey, what's up guys? Dream here. It's been long since my last video. Uh, glad to be back. Today in this video, I want to talk about the worst posture problem that every one of us has to deal with. It's the forward head posture. You're very familiar with this concept already, but today we're going to go deeper into this topic, how this posture looks, how it affects your body, how to solve it, and above all else, you want to know why it is so dangerous because it affects the whole posture of the whole body. Now, as we know, forward head posture, your head is forward. But not only that, when you, pre when you pull your head forward, you also have the tendency that your lower chin is lifted up. It's not down in the right, in the safe and stable position, but it's lifted up like this. You may not have this extreme forward head posture, but if you have at least some kind of a tendency to go forward, just in front of the computer, you're working on your desk, studying, or whatever you're doing, or you're driving. If you have the tendency to lean forward, then you have to take care of this forward head posture tendency or posture. Forward head posture is not only your head being forward, but also affects the angle of your lower chin. If it is raised up like this, or if it is in a stable position. Now the interesting fact is that if your lower chin is just slightly raised up, this will deactivate the core system. Forward head posture will automatically deactivate the core system, have your shoulders rounded like this. Even though you have open shoulders, just put your head forward and slightly raise your head. You have a tendency of your shoulders to go forward and inward. If you have rounded shoulders, you also get a rounded back. And the rounded back affects the lumbar spine, which affects the pelvis, which will cause imbalance in the lower body too. But now you can understand why putting your lower chin in the right position is that much important. Actually, it's the most important thing in fixing your posture, no matter what. And now to the corrective exercise, it's not that difficult. Just need your fingers, and you want to pull your lower chin inward to the back. But what is important is not just pulling it, but you want to feel a elongation of the back muscles of your neck. So here we are, we are focusing on the trapezius by pressing, by pulling your lower chin backwards. You want to totally elongate, you want to lengthen the muscles of your back, of the back side of your neck. Now you will hold this exercise for 30 seconds. This creative exercise will help to strengthen the muscles that help to pull the neck backwards. Not only that, we are also elongating, we are lengthening, stretching the muscles on the back side of your neck. So please not only do this exercise, but also remember the principle behind this exercise, strengthening and secondly, it's stretching, it's lengthening. Doing this exercise two to three times a day, every day will help you to get into better posture. We are only taking care in this video of the chin, but this kind of chin activation, this chin realignment will help you to realign your round shoulders back into a nice fixed position. Okay guys, that's for today. I hope this exercise helps. This creative exercise will make great changes if done daily. Nowadays, the whole world is going through lots of difficulties and trials. Uh, so please keep it up, do not be this depressed because depression causes also your posture to be pressed down, to be depressed. So uh, let's keep it up, let's have a bright mind, a bright heart, also uh, taking care of our body. I hope you have a great and thankful day. Until next time, bye bye.